Hi guys and ladies, it's early January, so I thought for sure I'd be stuck in the kitchen. But behold, the temperatures are mild and there's a chance I could catch a fish today. So how about we spend a short time fishing and later we'll try making a giant quesadilla Big Mac. I'm going to make my first cast right here off the dock. sort of trolling here now. I'll do anything for a fish. I haven't had any luck here. The water's too muddy. How about we go up to the little lake? Little lake catch a big one where the water's clear. Maybe we could catch something there. I've had one bite, but no fish. I got a not too bad bass. Little lake catch a big one produces. Look at how marked it is and how colorful. I'm gonna put them back. I'm not after food today. I've been out here for hours and I have only one fish to show for it. So what do you say we get back in the house and make that giant quesadilla Big Mac? We caught only one fish out there. Until we get thick ice or spring comes, we can't expect much success fishing. But we're here today for a Big Mac. And how about a colossal quesadilla one that's a bit lower in carbs? And the best thing about this is it might be a blast to try. Well, here goes. I'm starting with two pounds of ground beef, maybe even a little bit more. Now, two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper combined, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now we're following the Italian meatball dietary laws and mixing this with our clean hands. Somehow I've got to divide this into two equal halves. Okay, here's where you break out your Stanley ruler. It has to be Stanley. And you measure about 10 inches in diameter. Nine and a half, 10 inches. Bear with me, you'll see why when I find out why. I'm going to try to do the same thing with the second patty, about 10 inches in diameter. I'm just going to put this aside now for a minute. Big Macs have really finely chopped onions here, so I have to do my own. No store-bought chopped onions this time. This is the first time I've shown pre-packaged cheese on my show, but come on, it's so easy. Let's admit it. I've got mozzarella and I've got cheddar here. And I'm going to mix these two cheeses together. This is the quesadilla part of the Big Mac. Actually, this is going to help form the bun. I've got a big skillet here. And all I'm going to do is spray it lightly with cooking spray. The trick is to get this in the skillet. This is the stuff of bloopers. All right, <laughs> flipping burgers isn't as easy as it sounds. How am I gonna flip this now? Well, let's give it a try with a big spatula. All right, <sighs> it worked. I think my beef is like 80-20 because I've drained the grease now twice. Well, this burger is done. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with burger number two. Let's put this aside. these on 60% heat and about three minutes on each side. This last one is ready. Let's get it out of the pan. There you go. Now I'm going to keep these warm in the oven just on low warm. 
the directions aren't clear about this, but I cleaned out the skillet and now I'm going to re-grease it with cooking spray. Just a touch. I'm going to put this tortilla on it. And I'm going to sprinkle cheese over the top. I want to use one third of this cheese. This forms the buns. I've got this burner on low. And here goes the second tortilla to top it. You can make pizza like this. I've done it. This makes a great pizza crust. It's been about three minutes. Let's flip this. You need a humongous spatula. I raised our heat to medium. I think the medium is perfect. Let's see. There's our bun. Well, you see, a Big Mac has three slices of bread. This could be the middle, the top, or the bottom. Let's put it aside, get on to another. We're going to repeat this twice. That was relatively easy. Let's see. This is our last bun. Oh, yeah. We'll use this on top. Now, all we have to do is assemble it all. It says build the burger by laying one quesadilla down and then topping with the first burger patty. Let's do it in a separate plate. Next comes the lettuce. Next comes the special sauce. And I read about a thousand ideas on this. And here is mine. And I think it hits the spot. It's Duke mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. One half mayonnaise and one half Thousand Island dressing. It tastes just like Big Mac sauce. So here we go. Next goes our finely diced onion. Top with the second quesadilla. I got that right here. Now the second patty. Now lettuce again. Let us add the lettuce. Our special sauce. Excuse me. Onions again. Sliced pickles. Now the last quesadilla for the top bun. I'm going to keep this warm in the oven until our special guest comes. And then I'll quarter it. I'll cut it into fourths. I was so proud of myself, but I forgot one of the most important things. The American cheese. It wasn't written in the directions. Just in the... Uh, uh, ingredients list. Now, I have to deconstruct this and add the cheese. That's it. <laughs> now it's going in the oven to keep warm. How did I ever forget the cheese? It was sitting right out on the counter. It just wasn't in the direction. Still, I should have known. I should have realized. Well, while our giant quesadilla Big Mac is keeping warm in the oven, I should tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to arrive here for dinner. I, I'm as excited as if it were our first date. But we've been dating for 52 years, and um, I think this is date number... Uh, 18,981. Yeah. She seems to be avoiding marriage. I think I'll bring up to her finally tying the knot and see how she feels about being my wife.
I'm most honored to have next to me tonight the famous celebrity, restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much, Miss Cheeks, for dining with me tonight here at my shabby shanty, where you had a chance to uh, merrily munch on the humongous a quesadilla Big Mac, and I'm wondering what you thought of it. Oh, it was very good. It tasted just like a Big Mac. It was good, and the sauce was good. It was very nice. Thank you. Delicious. I, I thought that sauce, it was, I nailed it. Yes, yes, you did. Oh, yes. thank you. It yes. was like a, a Big Mac. It was. More meat, though. <laughs> a lot of meat, yes. <laughs> Miss Cheeks? Oh, I, I can say Lulu now, that's right. Uh, you, you know, I was just thinking... A woman who marries receives two rings, an engagement ring and a wedding ring. You forgot one. I did? Suffering. Huh? Oh. Can I have a hug?